Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Dun Dun anime review. And today we're doing the anime review on Happy 7. So it's basically what Happy 7 is. Based about this girl who had a very stream of very bad luck. I mean, very bad luck. She was cursed like every bad luck hex or charm or whatever. She's a superstition you can think of, basically. And one day she's going into a classroom. You know, every class has their clubs, and she stumbles into the Better Fortune Research Club. Ironic. And it consists of seven mem of eight members from that club, one boy and seven other girls, who secretly use the powers of, like, the gods or deities to fight against monsters who affect people's looks. The people's luck and their overall well-being and their health and mind. Um, as soon as she becomes quote-unquote club manager for this particular club um they uh they help well she helps them basically and um that's what i'm looking for uh well she helps them become their club manager because every club needs a manager you know and they're fighting with the monks of lots of monsters who are trying to destroy people's lives you know and let me point out Everybody to y'all say this is Shigori Ama, the girl with the very, very, very bad luck. <laughs> this is Kuru Kerudo Kuru. I'm sorry for butchering these names. Uh, Name Miku Nina Kawai Kawai Kitsun. Uh, Shagun Kiki, Okay Mire, and Kai Mataro, and that is it. Let me find you a better picture than the next little cute little shibi form. But basically, what this is is based off of a manga and also based off a light no uh, novel. It is t 20 minutes per episode. Um, at first, I thought it was like. When I first got into it, it is, I will quote, it is a 2005 anime, so with it being comedy, magic, magic, fantasy, and school life, it was really interesting. It took off the whole drill of, like, magical girls, but since the magical girl, they're basically deities, like, gods of, gods of luck, basically, is the way I interpreted it, and I was like, oh, this is a very interesting anime, and, like, you can tell it's 2005 because of the artwork, but also it kind of dives into, like, the Japanese lore of it. Is what I got at the digital aspect of it. Um, there's only like 30 episodes. You can get it, get through it pretty quick. Um, so basically, when their their powers are based on seven like luck gods, it's, I thought that was a very interesting concept because you don't see a lot of anime like tackling any of that at all. And um, basically, you know, it just, it just seems really interesting that this whole point of like. Uh, of deities be all women. If you normally you think of deities, you think of all men and women, but no, they're all they're all women, which is not bad actually. Um, it kind of gives you all like Sailor Moon vibe ish kind of. You kind of have the main girl that kind of acts like Sailor Moon, or you say in Japanese, and then you get the rest of the characters out who help support Sailor Moon, which I thought was really cool. Um, you know, the story is kind of nice. It pretty much gives up the couple of backstories of the last couple episode. I didn't explain how the club basically got its power in the first place. Which is kind of sucks. There is a lot of good level of humor to keep this show from be, being too dark, in a sense, or not, or or not becoming too dark for this for this aspect. And I think as you have a couple like you know evil characters that are screaming like in the background in any anime, but overall the series is very decent. It has uh, nice moments here and there, and you you really couldn't check this feeling of like bland. It was made to do the many characters trying to show that that one single spotlight. But if you like like the transformation sequels for this one, it's not that bad. And like, you know, how each of these characters are kind of clones and the side characters of Sailor Moon, which is not too bad, but overall I find it to be a very enjoyable anime. Um, the story is simple, uh, it has the element of magical anime and some type of a harm anime, as you can tell. Um, it has unique solid characters that you haven't seen any anime in 2005 since recently when it was produced. The art is cute, um, sometimes the characters go into embarrassing uh, chi modes that you saw earlier. It was very cute. Not really done, but it's very cute. This, the opening and this opening song and the ending song are very good. The characters, well, they're enjoyable. I mean, you have one guy that has with unique personalities. And just fun to watch all of them come together in a big group. Is what I find enjoyable. 
enjoy well this whole anime. Otherwise, I had fun watching the series. Other than that, if you just love adorable... Sorry, guys. If you just love adorable uh, anime characters, and my most of them being seven anime girls and one dude, and if you enjoy the characters and their antics, then this, is, this might be the gold the flow anime that's just for you, you know? Happy Seven, just a nostalgic anime that's like happy go lucky, nostalgic, and comedy to make you laugh. Uh, provide that really just a little bit, especially since we're in this time of self isolation. Just watch some good anime, you know, and this is probably one you can watch and be happy go lucky and, and you know, de stress a little bit. So I recommend checking out Happy Seven. Comment down below if which one of the lovely females you see in the background was your favorite luck god daily. Never forget to comment down below. And I'll see you next time for another dun dun and really I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.